His amber eyes peered into the inky darkness of the night. Something just didn't feel right. Dakota could feel it in the sharp, cool evening breeze. Although the air was colder this time of year in North Florida, there was a dark chill in the atmosphere, which caused the pores on Dakota's arms to rise. As a warrior and guard, he used all of his seven senses to protect his people. Dakota rose to his feet. His broad six foot two frame was impressive. He was known as one of the best hand-to-hand -hand combat warriors that his tribe had had in years. His long thin dreads were neatly pulled back from his well-sculpted face and his dark skin protected him like a cloak in the darkness. He sensed something was coming his way but could not understand what this could be. Stepping out of the shadows temporarily, he gazed at the full moon peeking out from the forest treetops. Again, the for forbidding feeling passed over him and Dakota knew that something wasn't right tonight. He took a deep breath. He could just about smell the stench of death floating in the air. The forest seemed to agree. It was strangely calm, as if the old trees knew something dreadful was about to happen. An unfamiliar sound was heard and Dakota slipped back into hiding, but at an advantage point so he could quietly observe what the cause of the noise was. The crackling of dry, dead leaves beneath heavy boots could suddenly be heard. Dakota moved quickly and found a place to hide behind a large shrub. He peered through the leaves and observed a man carrying a woman's limp body through the woods. The stranger stopped at a clearing just 30 feet away from where Dakota stood guard. He dumped the woman's body on the ground and then walked away. Dakota was confused by this man's actions. Unfortunately, it was not the first time he had witnessed something shady in the forest, but this time it was different. There was something different about the victim.